What's up guys, Mohammed Abdullah here. The all new Apple iPhone 11 series is here alongside the Apple A13 Bionic chip, which Apple claims is the fastest chip ever to be put inside of a smartphone. In this video, let's compare it to the Apple A12X Bionic, which, spoiler alert, is faster than the Apple A13, not necessarily better though. Stick around and I'll explain why. Ok so, starting off with the Geekbench scores, well here, the Apple A13 gets a Geekbench score of around 5600, while the Apple A12X Bionic gets a Geekbench single core score of around 5000. Well this says that the Apple A13 is indeed faster, wait till you see the multi-core scores. Multi-core is where we see the big big difference and the power, well the Apple A13 gets a multi-core Geekbench score of around 13,800 while the Apple A12X Bionic gets a multi-core Geekbench score of around 18,000. What this really means is that if you are going to do some photo or video editing on your smartphone or load some heavy heavy applications, I mean big applications using these processes, the Apple A12X Bionic is going to come out on top every single time. It might not be as fast as the scores really suggest, but it's really going to be the fastest processor out in the mobile consumer market. GPU scores also matter a lot, and here is where the Apple Apple X Bionic really shines. Well, it gets a compute Geekwin score of around 43,000 in comparison the Apple A13, the new one I mean, gets a compute Geekbench score, Geekbench 4 score actually of around 28,000. That is big. That really means that if you are going to game on your smartphone, the Apple A12 Vex Bionic powering the iPad Pro series that has a 120Hz display is going to show you really all of the frames in all of the major titles. This also means that the Apple A12 Vex Bionic is the fastest processor out in any smartphone or tablet. If you are still hanging in there, that means you are waiting for me to answer the one question. The statement I gave at the start of the video that the Apple A12 Vex Bionic is faster but not necessarily better. Well, let me explain it why it's not really better. The real power of the Apple A13 Bionic chip lies in its image signal processor. Well, it can record 4K video at up to 60 FPS from all four of its cameras, which means it can even do 4K 60 video from its front facing 12 megapixel sensor. And guess what? From the rear facing cameras, it can do 4K 60 video with extended dynamic range. And if you know anything about Apple's Smart HDR, you know it is brilliant. And the video you will be getting from the Apple A13 Bionic chip, I mean the iPhone 11 series, is going to be awesome to look at. This feature, alongside the 7 nanometer extreme ultraviolet lithography process of the Apple A13 Bionic chip, help it edge out the Apple A12X Bionic chip, in my opinion. Anyways, those were all my thoughts. Let me know yours with a comment down below and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.